Today, we're going to look at optimizing our product badges. If you go to your product page, you might have a sale badge or on your collections pages, you might have a sale badge and maybe it just doesn't provide as much information as you want it to provide. Perhaps you have a 50% off deal and you want it just to say 50% off. Saying sale just might not communicate how great of a deal it really is. So today we're gonna look at how we're going to change the text within our badges. We're going to look at changing the color and placement of these badges. So let's get going. So we're going to start off by just looking at an example. So this is Try Snow or Snow Teeth Whitening. And they have a lot of um, CRO type of um, decisions that they've made on their collection pages and product pages. Uh, but for today, we're going to focus mainly on just the sale badges. And we can see here, instead of it just saying sale, we've got 33% off. Um, just clearly communicating, hey, this is a really great deal. Um, and if it just said sale, you know, maybe maybe it just doesn't ha pack that same punch. Um, if we go to our demo store though, this is using the Dawn theme and by default, it's just a sale. Um, we don't know how much of a sale it is um, unless we can do that math in our head. Um, so uh, it just doesn't seem as compelling as it could be. On top of that, you know, the we've got some really bright red here, um, and you know this is just blue. Placement may not be optimal. So, first thing we're going to do is just jump into the theme editor, and there's already some things we can do uh, directly in the theme editor. So, um, we can go to our settings area, theme settings, and you can do this anywhere from the theme editor. And you can come down here to the badges area. And we can actually first even change position on, on the cards. So personally, I like top left. So I'm just going to change that to top left. We're going to save that. And we're just going to take a look to see what that looks like. OK, so it's saved. Let's refresh. And there we go. It's right at the top there. Um, and I feel like it's a lot more visible now. Okay, so the next thing we can do is we can change the color of it. So with the new Dawn theme, it gives us the option to set these color schemes. And so you can actually choose from the list of color schemes. So like, let's say we want to do a red, we can just choose the red and save that. Um, so we'll do that. And while before we move over, um, if you don't have a red in there, um, you can actually just kind of create your own scheme. So um, I actually just created this one here. So you can change you know, what you want the background color to be, what you want the text color to be, et cetera, and, and customize it to your liking, and then just use that for your sale badge. And so this is the one I created, and then um, I was able to use it in the badges area by just selecting it in the uh, in the drop down list. So now that that's saved, we can just refresh and we'll see we'll see that uh, color change. There we go. Okay, so nice bright and red, um, but it still just says sale. So now we want to get that text to change. And so this is where we're going to jump into the code. Um, so I've already got the code editor open here. Um, make sure before you make any changes to code to always just create a backup first. In case anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to your old version. So we're going to open up the file card-product.liquid. And we're going to look for the word badge because somewhere in here is the code that defines how those badges are being shown. And there we go. We've got this area here. So um, we've got if there's a sale badge, right? if there's a sold out badge, uh, for us, we're look, focusing on the sale badge. So this is this is the area that we're going to focus on right here. And we can even see there's a comparison. If the product compare at price is greater than the product price, which means there's a sale, then um, show this badge, right? And so this right here is the text that's going to be in the, uh, in the sale badge. And actually, um, this is a, a translation. So if we go into the translations area, we could probably access that that text um, and and we can modify it if we just 
want it to be a fixed text. But because we want it to be a calculation, then we're actually going to do it in, in code. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a couple lines of code here to grab the um, the compare at price. We're going to grab the, uh, the, uh, the, the actual price and then figure out what's the percentage off. So we're going to um, just paste this code in right here. So we're going to come right after this, this uh, else if, and we're going to paste this code in here. So what we're looking at here is the compare at price uh, minus the uh, the regular price. What's that difference? And then just calculate the percentage difference. And then we're going to update the actual text. So instead of this translation here, we're going to throw in our um, our actual variable that we created, and we're going to say that's a percent off. And we can either just delete this or comment it out. Uh, I'm just going to comment it out so that uh, we can revert back to the original version if we want to in the future. So let's just do that. OK, so now if I save and refresh our product page, we should hopefully be seeing a calculation being made. There we go, 38% off. So our sale now shows 38% off. Um, now, if we kind of take it to the next step and we go to our product page, right? So let me just refresh this. Um, we should start seeing it being in red, but it still says sale because we've actually only changed it on the, pro uh, on the collection page. So we also, if we also want to show it on the product page, then we, we have to make uh, that code update on the product page as well. So in order to do that, we can um, we need to go to our uh, main product dot liquid, and then in main in the main uh, product there should be a yeah so there should be a section here where you're rendering price, uh, and in the price it's it's there's a set there's a setting for whether or not we want to show badges, which is true. Um, so all of the badge settings are actually found in this price uh, dot liquid file. So we're going to head over there, price dot liquid. And in here, we should see a very similar structure to what we saw earlier. Um, so badges right here, right? So if the badges are sold out, then show this value here. So that's actually exactly the same as what we had previously here, right? So if it's if compared at price is greater than price, then show uh, products dot product on sale, um, which is the translation. Oops. And exactly the same thing here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a very similar calculation. Um, the uh, the variables are going to be slightly different because we're in the product page now, uh, but we're accessing the same uh, numbers. So we're going to, uh, if it's on sale, right? So if show badges, we're going to just format that a little bit, All right? So we're going to um, use those values there, and we're going to say if it's this percentage off and we're also going to add our comments in so comment okay so we just throw that in there we're going to save and we're going to come back to our product page and refresh and now that we've refreshed, we can see that you have the 38% off. In addition to that, if you have different prices for different variants, then, um, for example, if we have here uh, an extra small, that's $25, and it's 40 for a compared at. And if I 
go to 3XL, it's 30 and 45. You can, you can actually see that the calculation is being updated as well. So it's 33% off uh, for the 3XL, 38% off for the extra small. And so it just, uh, again, just makes things a little bit more clear for your customer. It's not just a sale, it's 38% off, it's 33% off, it's, it's a great sale. That's essentially it. That's how we can make some customizations to our badges. I hope that helps you. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks and I'll see you in the next one.